In the previous video, I worked out how to estimate the duration of a five-year treasury bond with 10% semi-annual coupon selling at par. Uh, in this instance, I'll just recap on that estimation and just augment the calculation slightly. So let's rerun this estimation again. Let's work out the duration of the bond. So let's take everything here and copy and we'll paste into a new worksheet and paste. And what I would like to do is verify the results obtained. So, um, and just um, stress test slightly. So the initial parameter inputs we had for the bond were the following. And I'm going to use those again. So I copy those and I paste in. So let's just paste. And that value is familiar. So that 101090 is for a bond that has a face of 1000, a coupon rate of 6, a discount rate of 5.6. A time period of three years and m equal to two and if we pull this across the duration of the bond we're saying here with this discount rate and coupon rate for that m is equal to 2.79 now if we were to perform the same type of estimation here we could say equal to 0.6 times and um, we could dollarize multiplied by one thousand and again I'm going to dollarize Okay, and we can pull that down and the final value and we don't go as far as 3 as 5 we go to 6 to um, 3 years okay so if it's for a 3 year bond the 3 year bond T here goes up to 3 okay so we can Edit, delete, and shift cells up. Okay, and we must also add here a face value of 1000. So 1060. The discount rate is equal to, and I'll fill this in, pause, fill it in. So I've just made everything here in this cell. Uh, refer back to the values here in the initial parameters and if we return if I return I have 0 0.973 0 0.973 we'll pull this down 0 0.847 okay and of course the values here don't correspond so we make one little change and uh, we forgot here in terms of the coupon we have to divide by two so so let's divide here by two it's three divided by m and again we're dollarizing and we dollarize Okay, so it should be 30, 30, 30 plus the face of 1000. Okay, and that is undo plus 1000. Okay, okay, so 
Then when we apply the discount factor, 1 plus the rate of interest divided by m to the power of um, m multiplied by the time period, we get each of the individual discount factors. And likewise here. And when we take the product of the discount factor by the cash flow, we get the present value of the cash flow. When we sum all of those cash flows together, we get 1010, 90, same as what we got for our VBA function. When we take the product of each of the discounted cash flows by the time period, the respective time period, and we take the sum of those, we get 281, 20, so 2821. Um, when we take the product, the ratio of those two, so this divided by the present value of the bond, we get 279, which is the duration. And that is equal to our function, the duration that we estimated using the function, the VBA function we developed. Okay, so this is in a sense a test that this particular this estimate actually works. Okay, so we have a value, our VBA function is robust to changes changing the parameter inputs. Okay, let's have a look at the VBA code one more time. The VBA code that we used here basically employs a loop or a double loop. Um, and to recap on our previous video, it effectively, so if we compare what we've done, Okay, put to one side. Essentially, what we've done here is we've worked out the value of a bond. Um, so, if we think of the duration function, we make reference to the coupon rate, which was 10%, the risk free rate, which was 5.6, the time period, which was three years, the face value of 1000, 1000, and m equal to 2. So we go for three years, if we have coupon being paid twice a year, being 2, 6 months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, etc. Then to estimate the coupon, we took the face of a thousand, we multiplied it by 10%, which would be 100. We div so, sorry, we take the face, the coupon rate of 60 points, uh, 6%, 6% of 1000 is 60 divided by 2 would be 30. So we have 30 each period plus 1,030 in the final interval, final period. Then we take, we initialize the estimation by first of all discounting the face value of the bond. So we take the face, in other words we take the 1,000 and we discount it at 5.6% divided by 2 to the power of negative 2 by 3 years. And likewise, with duration exactly the same, we initialize the initial duration bucket by taking exactly the same as here, but just multiplying by the time period. Then to... Um, get the sum in our order to estimate this um, 1010 90 we take the price the initial price here we 
enter into our loop and then we take each of the coupons so each of these coupons is discounted at this discount factor so it's this discount factor and i is how many i's i goes from one to six because two by three would have made six so we discounted one two three four five until we get to six and the initial price was the face that was discounted so the discounted face plus the discount of the coupons would produce ultimately the price of the bond the 1010 which is what ultimately goes underneath the line here to estimate the duration and then the duration bucket the dewer bucket i call here probably could have called it something else i initialized that by taking the face exactly the same as here taking the face again and just multiplying by three which would have been t would have been equal to two three and then i take that dewer and i bring it down here where it's initialized and then i discount same as before i discount the coupon but i also do something uh, that i must take into account i multiply by this one divided by m so that is this that is equivalent to taking the discounted coupon take the discounted coupon payment and multiply by t so this value here is the product of this times the time period so that the 0 0.5 the 1 the 1 1.5 that's been captured here by the 1 divided by m and otherwise we have the coupon the present value of the coupon which has been captured by the coup times the 1 plus r divided by m when we uh, execute the loop and finish the loop what goes into the dur bucket dur bucket will be equivalent to the 2821 and so the ratio of those two like what we have here the ratios of those two is 2.79 and likewise the pvbm dur which is my duration vba function that i've developed here will be equivalently equal to the ratio of those two or this cell here 2.79 we can see both are the same okay